Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shivangi Tiwari and I create videos related to career inspiration and lifestyle and if that's what you're searching for, then you have landed at the right. In today's video, we will discuss 10 most important DSA questions, their answers and their examples. So our very first question will be, what is the time complexity of binary search algorithm? So the binary search algorithm has a time complexity of O log N, where N is the number of elements in the array. So for example, we can say that suppose we have an array of 10 elements, then in the worst case scenario, it would have at most four comparisons to find the element using the binary search algorithm log base two of 10 is four. So coming to our next question, and that is what is the difference between a stack and a queue? So stack is a Lee four data structure, whereas queue is a fee four data structure. So for example, a practical example of stack can be a web browser back pattern, which shows the previously visited web page in reverse order. A practical example of a queue can be a ticket counter, where the person who stands first gets the ticket first. What is the purpose of hash tables? So hash tables are used to store and retrieve data quickly based on the key value pair. For example, consider a scenario where you want to store the phone numbers of people using their name as keys. We can use a hash table to store the data and retrieve the phone numbers quickly based on the names. Our next question is, what is the difference between a linked list and an array? So a linked list is a data structure where each node contains a value and a pointer to the next node, whereas an array is a data structure where elements are stored in continuous memory locations. So example, suppose we want to store a list of student records with the name, age and roll number of each student. We can use an array if the number of students is fixed or a linked list if the number of students is not fixed. Fifth question. Explain the time complexity of insertion, deletion and search in a binary search tree. So the time complexity of insertion, deletion and the search in binary search tree is O log N in the average case and O N in the worst case scenario. For example, consider a binary search tree with the following values of 5, 3, 7, 1, 4, 6, 8. If we want to search any of the number, be it 4, it would take at most 3 comparisons. Next, what is dynamic programming and when is it used? So dynamic programming is a technique used to solve optimization problems by breaking them down into sub problems and solving them recursively. And a classic example of dynamic programming is Fibonacci series. Next question is, what is a priority queue and when is it used? So priority queue is a data structure where each element has a priority assigned to it and elements are retrieved in order of priority. For example, consider a hospital emergency room where patients are prioritized based on the severity of their condition. question is what is a graph and when is it used so a graph is a data structure when nodes are connected by edges it is used to represent relationship between objects such as social networks road maps or computer networks for example consider a social network where each person has a profile and is connected to the person through friend relationships a graph can be used to represent this network where each person is a node and friend relationships are edges connected to nodes Next question is, what is a sorting algorithm and what is the difference between a comparison based and a non-comparison based sorting algorithm? A sorting algorithm is a procedure used to arrange data in a specific order. A comparison based sorting algorithm compares elements to each other and arranges them in order. Whereas a non-comparison based sorting algorithm does not compare elements but instead uses other methods such as counting or radix sorting. For example, some comparison based sorting algorithms are quick sort, merge sort or heap sort. A non-comparison based sorting algorithm is counting sort which sorts in degrees. The last question is what is the difference between BFS and DFS and when they are used? So BFS explores all the verticals at the same level before moving to the next level whereas DFS explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking. For example, consider a maze where we want to find the shortest path from the entrance to the exit. BFS can be used to explore all the possible paths at each level and find the shortest path. DFS can be used to explore all the paths until the exit is found, but it may not be necessarily the shortest path. I hope you liked today's short video. So if the video is good, so do give it a thumbs up, share it to all your friends and family, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified anytime I post my new video. Thank you so much.